Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. You signed for Wrexham yeah. after Wimbledon. How yeah. did that come about? Who, who came to you knocking? Oh, Ryan Reynolds knocked on my door. <laughs> nah, <laughs> they, yeah, they... Um... Full Deadpool costume. <laughs> Hey there, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just, they, they got in touch. <laughs> that would be Sorry, unbelievable. That's how, that that's how Rexham signed everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead bull rocks up at your door. I think he did speak to a few players before they signed to try and entice them, but that didn't happen with me. But yeah, just throughout all of January, really, would you come? And I said, not really. And then obviously they're going back and forth with my agent and obviously the deal improved and then got a few more years and they offered me like a three and a half year deal and Wimbledon were not budging on giving me an extra year. They thought yeah. 29 was old. They were really they had this like ridiculously young philosophy at the club, and the guy involved with that has now <laughs> been sacked. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. So, <laughs> and they've tra- kind of changed it because you do need to have experience in the team. So his analogy with me, right, the guy in charge of recruitment at Wimbledon, said to me. So he was like a gambler, and he was quite successful in gambling. And I, I said to him, well if we played poker, who would win, you or me? And he said, well, I would. I said, why? He said, well, I played it more. I said, exactly, that's called experience. And you're- t- oh, It backfired on him. And he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and this was literally like a week before I, uh, I'd left. Yeah. And you know, he had nothing to say to that. And he's just stuck with this whole, we're bringing in 19, 20 year olds. And that yeah. was kind of the downfall in that moment, unfortunately for Wimbledon. And now they've gone and recruited more experienced players and it's good to see him actually picking yeah. up and doing well to now. Do that. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous. Move. It was ridiculous. It's, it's part of the reason why Liverpool struggled earlier in the year. Yeah. Like, you know when they had a, they had a midfield? They had they had James Milner in midfield playing alongside Harvey Elliott. James Milner was playing Premier League football before Harvey Elliott was even born. <laughs> They're not going to be a good pairing. It's a father son combination. You need the you need the 28 29 year old geezers who yeah. are in there ready for the fight, know what it's all about. You can't build a team on either total experience. No, you need to have a mixture. That's the healthiest combination, mm. 100%. You so. s- obviously, you do get your move to Wrexham, three and a half year deal. And I also, I know you were talking about three and a half years, especially at that level of football. It's a long time. It's, it, but yeah. it's, I think it's very important, isn't it? So you it have is, the security, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. I mean, that was the biggest thing for me at 29, turning 30 in that January window. I wanted security and Wimbledon wouldn't give me that, yeah. even though I was done very well for them and the, I know that my performances were quite key to how the team yeah. played and again they can't, maybe they took that for granted a little bit and decided that they'd rather the money than keep me there and unfortunately when I left in January the club didn't win a game um, from January to the end of the season <laughs> Jesus and, Christ and <laughs> end up getting relegated <laughs> that's not good January to the end of the season what a key component you were nah so yeah ended up you know, the club made it a bit of an easy decision for me. And it was hard because I'll tell you, this is true. It sounds fucking pathetic. And I would laugh at anyone that done this because I'm not that kind of person. I fucking cried when I left Wimbledon. Yeah, I went in to see the lads and the coaching staff and I cried. No one knows that. that. I was gutted to leave. Yeah. Fear cries yeah. after we end every pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, that's, just, that's just from reading the comments. And I'm not that though, guy. And I would always laugh. I'd be like, look at that weasel cry. That's pathetic. Like, get a gr- <laughs> see someone crying on a pitch in an interview. I'm like, grow up, mate. <laughs> but it's, I was not that guy, but I did. Uh, that. Somebody's got it, just hits yeah, you. It just, and nah, I didn't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to leave, and I was so happy there. But to be fair, I'm at Wrexham, and if anything, I'm just as happy, yeah. if not happier. It's did just amazing. Immediately, immediately yeah. the lads are unbelievable. It's obviously a slightly older changing room yeah. than what yeah. I had at Wimbledon. Great bunch of guys. Did you have to do, the, do uh, the initiation? They don't do it they there. Do it's the right. only club I've ever n- not really? had to no do it. No initiation? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. No, there's none. I, I don't suppose know you have got a bunch of cameras going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really camera shy, so I wouldn't be too worried about seeing uh, it. No, but, but how I mean, noticeable are they? Football initiations. It's a full crew. Are they there every day? Was it? Most days. Really? Yeah, it's a full crew. Is it full access? Full access. So they I remember when they signed, they said, look, Ollie. You know, we're always going to be filming you through the good times and the bad. So if you know you come in at half time and we're there, please don't like punch the camera or tell us to fuck <laughs> off or anything but it's like true, that. Though, like, yeah, it's true. Because happen. obviously, yeah, sometimes you're just losing two at half time. You got a camera there. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you like, just fuck off. Like, fuck. Yeah. Is that disgrace? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the camera crew are there a lot. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have seen Welcome to Wrexham, but yeah, yeah. it's one. Um, some awards and Wait, it's, Ryan it's, and it's Rob. Because the insight is just so good. Ryan and Rob have filmed <laughs> like. You know some amazing content and the when they put it together i think it's really good and they've got the community element 
They've got the football. I think it's like 50% Robin Ryan, yeah. which is what you need yeah. because that's what people that's, are buying into. Yeah, exactly. And it's 25% football, which I'd like it to be a bit more than that because mm. obviously they've been with us every day for longer than what I've been there. And then 25% of the community. Maybe we should like cut Robin Ryan's <laughs> yeah. time out. Get like, him out. 40%. <laughs> you, you, want, you want some more yeah. highlights in 4K? Yeah. 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 <laughs> cut them to 40% and then give the, the community and the, and, the, and the football team a little bit more airtime. But it's, it is really good. Yeah. And what they've, what they've created, I think, well, I'll say the world. I don't know if I should say that loosely or not, but... I, I would agree. I think it, the yeah. world is a fair assessment. It's, it's everywhere, isn't it? It yeah. is everywhere. And... Yeah people are buying into it and it's great because I'm so happy for Wrexham because it is a team that's kind of been on the back burner and it's great to have them kind of put on a pedestal and by the way North Wales is like the most beautiful place mm. yeah 